thank you for checking out the final clip that I'll be shooting in Paris this time out. And uh, it was a bit of a crazy adventure with Marie, a girl I met a couple of years ago um, online through Nicole. Did an interview down in Melbourne. And there she is. And uh, since that time, she's got her own photography website going. Some great images that she's taken pretty much all around the world. Of course, the famous Harbour Bridge in Sydney. And uh, beautiful shots like that, traveling around with the camera and doing her thing. And uh, we kept in touch through Facebook and there's Nicole there who we met through and uh, you can check out her website there if you want to see all the different work but we kept in touch through Facebook and um, this day an absolutely beautiful afternoon in Paris we agreed to meet up at the Sacre Coeur I was thinking about what to do I'm gonna be in Paris for another week but uh, no more filming I've got to finish a screenplay so it's the best place in the world for me to do it and it was great to be there and uh, Yuri who I already filmed with doing his thing check this out Yeah, so there he is, Yuri, who we filmed with a couple of weeks ago, and Marie meeting at the steps there. We went for a bit of a walk and pulled out the camera to film. All right, Marie, how are you? I'm, I'm good, thank you. It's been a few years, hasn't it? Yeah, true. We, we just said that before, like maybe two, two years, yep. probably, yeah. In Melbourne and now here randomly in Paris, so what have you been, what have you been up to? <laughs> well, um, I'm just like a tour, it's like you today. Yep. Like I'm just walking and it's really like a sunny day, so I'm going to take photos. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to show you around uh, what I think is oh, the best places in uh, in Paris. So tell us about this area, like what's, what's special about here, it's pretty beautiful. Isn't it? uh, here it, it looks like kind of like a small village, yep. like uh, no buildings or nothing special except really typical uh, little cafes and uh, shops and it's really really touristic but but really charming at the same time yep. so all tourists come here but uh, even if I'm not exactly a tourist like you yep. I still enjoy it and I that's why I want to show you I remember talking to you in Melbourne with Nicole and uh, yeah. I asked you about chasing dreams and stuff do you feel like you've been chasing it or if, what's still the ultimate plan for you the ultimate plan leave uh, with my photography uh, I think I'm not yet there but uh, I want to move uh, towards that and uh, I don't know it's travel and maybe be paid to travel yeah. <laughs> that would be the ultimate dream yeah. probably yeah so that's the thing about dreams if you work hard enough uh, you never know it could happen so our first stop was to have a coffee look at that place Cher Marie just by chance and uh, coffee and Marie was going to take me to a really cool park but before that the last look for me at the Sacre Corps. <laughs> So I've said this before in a couple of clips, but you've got to come to Paris and you have to go to the Sacre Coeur. It's just absolutely amazing. But next stop for us was a park. We've just got off the metro and, and where are we? We are at uh, Le Parc de Butchemont, uh, which is, I, I think I can uh, read this in French if you want. <laughs> okay, it's from uh, 1867. La Butte, Chaumont, contraction du mot chauve et mont, accueille tout à la fois une carrière de gypses un bassin d'épuration et une décharge jusqu'en 1860. Napoléon III décide de transformer la colline en somptueux jardin. Assisté du jardinier Barillet des Champs. Yeah, so I've got really no idea what she's saying, but with the French accent, it sounds pretty cool. So we made our way into the park, some awesome things to shoot, and uh, just nature at its best with some of these trees. And this shot here cracked me up. These four ladies sitting on these seats, all in the exact same spot, separately. It was uh, just a crack up to walk past that and film it. But uh, to be in this park, it was just like nature is like the buildings everywhere around that you see in Paris. It's just breathtaking and all these beautiful trees, places for the Parisian people to go and check out. And this is like one of the ultimate vantage points. You get up there and have a look at the city below and you can see the Sacre Coeur where we just were. And uh, 15 minutes away by Metro. It's just so easy to navigate this city. You can get to a park and a completely different perspective of Paris. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, from there we made our way down from the vantage point to uh, around the lake area. I had the camera running because this was awesome. We found this. Yeah, 
So I'll be honest, I mean, walking into a giant cave was the last thing I thought I'd find in Paris as uh, a bunch of the old timers there play some cards in the park on a beautiful day. And from there we made our way back onto the metro. It takes about 25 minutes to get from there down all the way down to the real action area, which is uh, the Notre Dame and the Louvre. And just to be by the water, the river sign, absolutely gorgeous. If you come to Paris, you've got to do this. Um, now's about the best weather. Of course, summer coming, but there you go, the Eiffel Tower looking down onto this absolutely majestic city and uh, just postcard stuff everywhere. Look, Paris is obviously, I'm pretty blown away by it, one of the best cities I've ever been to. I mean, everywhere you look, from a park in the middle of the river there, it's just absolutely incredible. And uh, Marie had some more info. The spot is Yves Saint Louis. What's that? Um, it's in the, right in the middle of Paris and you have this island. So we surrounded the of water and the water is called La Seine, which is really famous. If you walk a bit towards that way, you have Notre Dame. Then uh, towards there, no, just 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 there, it's the Louvre. And then you have this bridge, which is made out of wood, where only people can go. No car, maybe a bike, but you don't have to. You can't ride it. Yeah. So it's really cool. People come here and have a picnic and relax. Be casual. Yes. So the tour for me was pretty much about to wrap up. I was going to put the camera away. I've got a week of riding ahead of me. and uh, But it was awesome to be out there on a beautiful day when you could just wear a t-shirt after the winter spell. And uh, just looking at that there, Paris in all its beauty, it was great to be walking around with Marie, showing me some of the sights, including the bridge she was talking about there where you can walk across snow cars. Very, very popular area. And it's, of course, opposite the Louvre Museum. So uh, I've already filmed in there, hopefully you've got to see a couple of the clips so far shot in Paris. There's some beautiful things there if you've never seen it before. But to walk through from another uh, entrance point for me and just see this incredible, almost palace-like area with the big dome there, the pyramid that you go down and see one of the greatest museums in the world, that's for sure. You've just got to come to Paris, hopefully these clips have influenced you and you get to get here, that would be an awesome dream. And uh, thanks for checking out all the clips on the website.